Hey, today officially starts the Switch port review series. Now, I, I did kind of cheat because I did this one. We can consider uh, the Gun Vault port review uh, the, fort, the first Switch port review that I did. But I actually picked up uh, two more today. I had some store credit from GameStop and uh, I got Skyforce Reloaded, which I've already done an overview on, so uh, I'll probably do that later this week. And then Earth's Dawn. Now, what's interesting about Earth's Dawn is, uh, first off, you notice the name is different. It's called Earth Wars instead of Earth's Dawn. And when you see the price here, you're going to get shocked. <laughs> Let me uh, pull it up really quick. Oh, you can't see it, but it's on sale for 450. Apparently, what happened is the Rising Star Games—they're uh, the ones that published it on PS4 and Steam—and the game is like was like thirty dollars base price. And I've already gone over uh, how this game works. I, I played it quite a bit uh, back in the summer. The game is ugly. Uh, the animation style is gross. Uh, it, it looks very cheap. It looks like a flash game, but the the combat is actually really good. But unfortunately, due to the way it looks, uh, a lot of people didn't buy it along with the high base price. So apparently they broke away from uh, Rising Star Games and they self-published this version. And it's on sale for 450 So if you have a Switch for that price, I mean, that's like the price of, it's less than a, like a Little Caesars pizza or like a Happy Meal or something. So, <laughs> or like a coffee at Starbucks. For that price, uh, even if you don't completely like the game, if you don't even have to finish it, uh, you will still get a couple hours of entertainment out of it. So I'm going to go straight in. Now this is going to be a pretty short one because I've already uh, covered like pretty much every facet of this game. I never actually finished it. I got kind of burnt out towards the end, but I did cover uh, you know the, the core gameplay loop and the mechanics. So there's nothing special about the controls. The controls are pretty much uh, identical, even if you're playing in handheld mode. Uh, there's basically no difference from the other versions. I'm playing on my uh, my dope controller right now, but uh, I went to the chiropractor earlier today and I, I played a little bit of it. I had downloaded the game uh, right before I left to the doctor's office, and I tried it for the first time while I was waiting, and uh, it actually works really well. I don't think I craft anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the first level. I don't even know if this uh, actually gets any benefits from being docked. I mean, obviously it's still gonna look like a flash game anyway. But the frame rate is very solid, uh, even in the handheld mode. Which, again, would be, uh, be a travesty if it wasn't. I still get a kick of how the male characters in this are like Gears of War rejects. <laughs> I think this animation style would look even weird if it was at 30 FPS, so luckily that's not going to be a problem here. Cap. 
体だけがとりあえずワニヤロウだ時間を打ち負けてそこを削り取ってやれソー。Like I said, apparently this is selling pretty well on,、uh, on the Switch just because of the price.
level in this game is pretty cool. They actually give you a pretty decent amount of enemy types to give you a boss as well. They aren't really easy into it too, which they actually are uh, relatively challenged from the pretty much the start of this game. But you can see it performs well. Uh, I can't really show it in handheld mode, but it looks pretty much the same. I'm not even sure if this is running at uh, 1080p docked. It might be one of those ports that just runs 720p uh, in both modes, which is uh, how the Bayonetta ports work, apparently. I think that's how this port works. I can't really tell the difference between 720 and 1080, but the important stuff is that it, it controls and it performs well in both modes, and it's like the price of a coffee or a little Caesar's pizza, so uh, if you're looking for a stylish action game and uh, you don't have the money for Bayonetta or you don't want to buy it for the 10th time or whatever your reason is, this is probably one of the best ones that you have access to. There's this and Phantom Breaker are probably your best two options, and both of them are really cheap. Uh, Phantom Breaker is $10. I, I might get that when I get my next uh, eShop card. I'll try to cover their differences on that. But yeah, for 15 bucks, you can get this and Phantom Breaker and have uh, some pretty solid beat-em-up action for under 20 bucks. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save here. That's going to be the end of the uh, second port review. So the next ones I'll be doing is uh, Skyforce Reloaded. I will probably get Phantom Breaker. Uh, if I don't get something else, I was thinking of getting uh, Mighty Gun Vault Burst and the Raid DLC, which would be about the same price. Uh, I do get paid from Patreon in about a week, so uh, I'll probably be able to get both regardless. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing more Switch ports. If you have anything that you can think of that you think I'd like uh, and you'd like me to do a port review of it, uh, go ahead and let me know. I I've looked over the Steam library and I, I didn't see, or it's not the Steam library, but the uh, Switch library, and I didn't see too much else. Uh, Skyforce Reloaded is actually a pretty good port as well, and it lends itself well to the portable format. So I'll probably be doing that one next. Thanks for watching. Peace.